No clear winner, no surprise. Instability is the result in this election. Boyko Borisov's centre-right party won most votes. If he manages to get a coalition together, he says policy would remain pro-European. Bulgaria needs to be very clear, firm and precise on where it belongs, in the European Union and NATO. Kirill Petkov, a centrist, succeeded Borisov as prime minister, but his popularity waned, partly because of his hard line on Russia and his messaging didn't get the support he needed. They're making a, a choice between the uh, politics of transition, where corruption was part of the brand with Bulgaria, or a new, completely reformed, transparent, growing Bulgaria. It was only last year that anti-corruption protests brought down Borisov's government. After more than a decade in power, his administration faced 120 allegations of corruption from an EU prosecutor. Despite this, Borisov's core support stayed intact, mainly among older voters, many of them living outside of the capital. He's very confident. He's a well-qualified politician. He communicates very well and he takes advice from the experts. But university lecturer Galina Pindikova is skeptical about how there can be a fully functioning government. They might form a government, but it won't last for long. The last few elections show that it's nearly impossible to have a stable coalition government. And so what next? Negotiations to try to get a coalition government formed. Parties with different ideologies trying to come together. It could include a nationalist pro-Russian party. But there's no guarantee it will all succeed and there could be another general election. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Sofia.